Afternoon guys, out here for an afternoon session, very unlike me for an afternoon session and we're going to be fishing into the night, we're going to be trying to get some fresh bait and then just before dark we'll anchor up, put a bit of burley out to set the lines and then hopefully we get a couple of mulloway tonight. We'll have some lighter rods set up as well for brim and whatever else but at the moment we'll just gather some bait and yeah we'll see how we go. I got Jason and Will with me today. They're both working away. As soon as we get some bait, we'll go anchor up and set up. I was hoping for some squid as well, but time's running low already, so we'll see how we go. Alright, let's rip in the fish. Oh, dropped him for a second, but he's back on. God, I hope I don't drop. He's a big fish. I am fishing light again, eight pound. I hope I don't, I hope he doesn't bite me off. Oh, God, doesn't feel good in his mouth. Sorry, man, coming back around here. Whoa, I may need the net on this sucker. <laughs> First cast, God. Oh, it's always fun to get straight out straight onto them. Oh, a big salmon. <laughs> I thought he was a bit large for a tailor. Anyway, we'll keep him for bait. You got one, mate? We're double hook up here. That's good, we need the bait. Tailor would be good. Can't knock this type of fishing, it's great fun. You got the tail of salmon mixed together. Perfect bait size there, mate. I'm struggling with this salmon on this light line. It really is giving me a hard time. Put him in the esky. We will try and keep some live ones, but it is pretty early. Let's see if I can finally get a net on this bloody thing. Nah, I should be right, mate. You keep going. You keep pulling them in. <laughs> oh, I've gone a bit light here. I didn't expect them to be salmon. Bloody eight pound. Turn it into an ordeal. You're right again. It's fish everywhere. You can't miss. Maybe a salmon. I'm hoping to get a net on this soon because I'd like another cast. Yeah, he's coming in. It's got to be getting tired. <laughs> He's a couple of kilo at least. <laughs> Every cast we're on here, ridiculous. So much fish. Wheels just constantly on. Every time I think I'm going to get a net on this one, he's off again. Maybe not. Jeez. I don't want to bust him. It cost me 20 bucks. Oh, it's a heavy salmon. That is heavy. That is heavy. <laughs> They've been feasting. Absolutely feasting. Tailor after tailor here. I somehow got a salmon first cast. Good, plenty of bait. 
that's what we want. Can't beat fresh bait. <laughs> Hate it. Out of his mouth. He tried to wait. Well, he wouldn't take long to bag out at the moment. I'll tell you. One after another. Bag out bloody quick. Getting up that 40 size, eh? <laughs> He's a good one, yeah. He's a good. Getting up that 40. Oh, no. Yeah. Sounds like a half a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had your light. Only eight pounds on this one. Yeah, they're good fun, but aren't they? When, when they don't bite you off, they're good fun. <laughs> Oh, I've hooked him with every bloody hook under the sun. Here we are, anchored up now, baits out, burly out. It's got the usual bit of rabbit pellet with tin oil there, good burly. And um, the wind's dying off nicely now. We've got some big baits out. Picking up fish on the sounder actually, some nice arcs, and we've got big baits, little baits, so we'll just see how we go. As you can see, the sun's just going behind the horizon nicely there, so perfect time. Hopefully we start pulling a few fish in. Not often. I'm getting done on my big chunk, I think. Ready? I think so, I think it was a flatty or something. Yep, with a good old bite. <laughs> Wasn't a flathead. I must have been a snapper or something, or a big broom. It's got some yakker under the boat here. Coming into the burley. See if we can get one on the long shank. Yep. Straight on. Ooh. Beautiful live bait there. That's what we want. We'll get a couple of these. Perfect timing too. They'll disappear in a minute, so we're lucky we're getting them right now. There's one. <laughs> oh, he's, did he snap me? Nah, just put nah, that's what kept happening. <laughs> There's one. Let's see if I can hold him on. Look at that little snack. Look at that. A, man a mantis strip, is it? Man I think they call them mantis strips. Killer prawn. Killer prawn. I don't really want to touch it because they can flick pretty hard, like a gunshot, the quick as a gunshot. They say. I don't want to get too close to him, actually. That they're good bait. I know that. We might use him for bait. Whack him on, mate. Yeah, whack him straight mate, back on. If he hits you, it's no. Do you reckon? Nah, he'd be right. Grab him. <laughs> Give be me good right. For the video. He's got nothing. Be good for the video, though. Now put it, just put the hook straight back into him, mate. Oh, what's he hooked on though? Has he got the hook or what's he's he got? got his in. Where's the wrestle line? He's got go? little spikes, eh? Has he just got the sinker? You, didn't, you just had him hooked on the sinker. Yeah, on the line. You didn't even have him in the hook. Mad little things, eh? Yeah, put your hook. Put, I'd put him straight back out, mate. He's yeah. a top bait. Yeah, shit, yeah. Should almost have a chew on him raw. <laughs> no. Put him on live. Oh, look at him. 
Ooh, girl, don't aim him at me. Might crack the camera. Morning, guys. Out here with mate Matty again. What a day. Absolutely perfect out here. Dead still. Always challenging when it's dead still, but I'm feeling confident today we can catch some fish. I can already see some birds lurking in front of us. So this should be easy. We should be able to just motor up and catch some fish. But hoping for the big ones hanging underneath be nice. Anyway, let's go for a motor up and check this out. Big school of fish up here. Fish jumping up over here. Yeah, see a bit of movement. Popping up with the bait fish schools just getting pushed up here to the left. He got off. <laughs> he crashed it, that didn't he? Yeah. Whoa, that was a big. And I was fouled up too. I had... <laughs> big crashes. I think there's salmon behind us there. Got my lures sense back on my website. I'll post a link in the comment section in the video. If you guys want to support my channel, I'll be still, it works great. It's all I ever use. And yeah, it does me proud, lures and bait. Um, I'm still doing the deal. If you grab four on there, I'll chuck in five. Um, yeah, there's no link on there, but I'll definitely um, send five if you pay for four. Cheers, guys. Down to oh, Jesus. Got a hit as soon as I... Got down there. Hope you don't bite me off. Taylor. Mr. Toothy Nailer. I wouldn't mind keeping a couple actually. I can land this without him biting me off. Might bleed a couple. Oh, Jesus. He's not bad. Yeah, it's not that size one. That 40 centimetre size. Yeah. Good even size. Yeah, that's right. Someone will eat that. Look at the smoker. Yep. I don't mind actually. Good fresh. Color. Whoa. Let's <laughs> see if I can get in amongst that. Jesus. Oh yeah. There we go. Maddie's on. Another nice tailor. Oh, crashes. Oh, look at these crashes behind me. These look like big something. Yeah, we'll keep a couple. Just slid them in the gills there. Yep. 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 Come on. This might be a salmon, hopefully. Yep. Maybe. Feels all right. There were some big swirls, just, I thought that maybe salmon, no, it's just a tailor. But there were some big salmon coming up. Always risky vibing around these buggers. That big boy. Good sized tail, eh? Yeah. Big rippers. Ripper tail, oh, yeah. Take one home for the boys. Yeah. Yeah, you may as well take a couple, mate. Now I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. A recipe I've been cooking since I was about 10 years old. 
and it's a, bit, it's a super food. Forget all those other kale and micro greens and almond milk and all that rubbish. I'll show you the true super food. And yeah, I've got a plan for these, Taylor, when I get home. I'll do a bit of a catch and cook on them, actually. Oh, I just saw a fish jump clean out of the water. <laughs> on the go fast? Nah, it was too far away. Oh, yeah. Um, Salmon. Nah. Feels a bit naughty, but could be yeah. a snapper. Feels a bit naughty. Could be something different here. Would look like a nice snap. It does feel like a snapper. Oh. It's a broom, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a broom. <laughs> nice broom. I thought it was a snapper, but a nice broom, though. We I just said I wanted a bit of variety and. Yep. <laughs> Straight away onto a broom. Oh, beautiful. Ask, ask and you will receive. I think it will. I think it'll be all right. Oh, that's a nice broom. Oh, he wasn't getting oh, the way. Hooked that's him, a nice, healthy fish. Hooked him on every treble there, but he's a. That's a beauty. Getting up there. What a nice fish. Close to 40, 38 or something. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's perfect. Perfect mm. condition. Yeah. The yeah. fish are so healthy in this lake. Ooh, look at the fish boiling up in front of us there. That's why these brim and that feed them, because yeah. they're bloody um, hidden, hidden all the bait fish, what the tailor are leaving behind. Yeah, they see someone else having a feast, they're like, hmm, hang on a minute, that's what are a, they eating? That's a beautiful fish. I'm going to let him go, but, because... Whoop! Jesus, I gave him a headache. You're almost at the him. I gave him a headache before I let him go, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, we'll let him go. Here you go, around. mate. Nothing wrong with him. I'd like a bit more variety, please. Flatty. <laughs> Flatty's on the board next, I reckon. <laughs> What's going to be next? If you can see that, that is the biggest jellyfish I have ever seen in the lake. The tentacles are hanging off it are about two meters long, longer. The top of it, bloody, a meet, half a meter across at least. I'm gonna hook it in my bike. Try and have a little look see it. Looks like it's got a fish stuck in it too. It's huge. I'm gonna have a close look at this thing has to be poisonous. Hold this for me, mate. Get a little bit of... Yep. I don't know, they're dropping. I'm going to try and uh, have a closer look at this. See if I can get it with a vibe. There we go. I've hooked the tentacle. Oh, this is dangerous. Look at how long the tentacles are. Wow. The tentacles are like... Meters long. I can't stop the hook. Oh, I've got the tentacles again. <laughs> He's coming up a bit. <laughs> you don't want to get that on your head, I don't think. I don't know how I'm going to get it off my lure. <laughs> Might have our first flathead here. Yep, I think so. Something different. Nothing huge by the look of it, but... Mm. Not that you're good either. Mm, to I don't know. Oh, no, I a little squire. You foul hooked him in the back. A little snapper. <laughs> well, you know they're working well when you get a snapper and broom on them. <laughs> Little squire. Because they're generally pretty fussy, the snapper and broom, so if you're catching them, you know you're doing the job right. Just need to trick some big ones now. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I just busted you. Man, that might have been you playing with you. I should have. I think I was a bit tired on him. It seemed that way. Not much kick, so maybe a flathead here. There we go. Oh, it's spinning, maybe I've jagged something. It's not very big. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a flatty. Yeah. Look him. Oh, okay. Around the gills, in the mouth. Look at him everywhere. But there's that bit of variety. Yeah, that's it. Finally, a bit more variety. Brim, Taylor, Flathead. I've dropped a bloody few, but look at that vibe. It's just gone. Little squire. Oh, we got the squire too, yeah. And whatever the ones we dropped. The big ones we missed. I oh, know. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I just dropped him. Bummer. He got you off? Yeah. Bugger. Oh, right too. Maybe, maybe you're flooded. Not very big. Yeah, another flooded. Another flooded? Another flooded. Yeah. Not as big as that other one when I just dropped. Yeah. Panty. Good panty indeed. Perfect eating size actually. Yeah. Seems like they're lurking in here a bit, eh? Mm. Of course, he's freaking smashed it right back. Come oh, on, but it feels like oh, another well, flathead. Like no, it's silver. It is a tail. Oh, yeah, it must have been a school the tailor went through. Yeah. Those smaller well, ones. I reckon are... there's some bigger ones down in there because whatever that was on the end of that was quite heavy. This is the smallest tailor of the day we've got here. Yeah. Which is still a keeper. We're just getting some real rippers. Are you going to let me de hook you, mate? Oh, he is. Look at these beautiful ingredients. And I've been making this recipe, I'm gonna let you in on that. I've been making this recipe since I was about 10 years old. And I probably don't do the best things in life now and then. And I think this stuff keeps me young, it really does. And if you notice a common denomination with this, it's parsley, onion, lemon, and garlic. It's all detoxing, it's all cleansing, and it's all really good for you. So, it's just a really nice flavour too. I keep it simple and it just so happens these things there are really good for detoxing the system and a really good nutrition level to keep you healthy as well. Keep those antioxidants up. And then also the fish. A lot of the time, the fish we want to eat isn't probably the most nutritious fish for us it doesn't have the most omega oils and stuff like that so how do we utilize the fish what otherwise we wouldn't usually eat here's a good way to do it so what we've got here is two tailor and we've just got enough water just to cover the tailor just just coming to the top of it not quite and what's going to happen is we're going to put these fresh ingredients in we'll put it on and what's going to happen is, let's put these lemons down. All these flavours, I'll put that parsley in towards the end actually, but the, all the flavour from the onion and the fish and the lemon. We'll put a little bit of parsley in there just for a bit of flavour. Save a lot for later for that fresh garnish. And then we'll put... Half a lemon in there as well. And that fish is going to cook with all that juice in there. And all the flavour of the fish is going to come out in all that juice there. And it's going to make a beautiful soup. So we're going to have the fish to eat as well. And then we're going to reduce that down a little bit. And we'll have a beautiful soup. And I like to have the soup with a bit of garlic toast. So you get, it really is a beautiful meal to eat. And it takes five minutes. It's as simple as meal. This is pretty much it. 
you put the lid on after this and yeah really simple got a spoon of garlic another good antioxidant good um good at beating keeping um sicknesses at bay and whatever there we go we just let that cook now it's so simple that just took a minute to prepare up we let that cook I'll put the lid on it and we let that flavor from the tail go right through it and it's ready that's it we'll add a bit more lemon towards the end and I'll serve it with a garlic toast and a beautiful meal and it's the best way to utilize fish quick and easy you get home hungry from fishing and it takes five minutes and you're off you're ready to go you can have a quick easy meal what's well, really good for you and cleans the system out at the same time because we all need that now and then we certainly do and one thing I did forget, we're just going to go some white pepper and a bit of garlic salt. put a little bit of normal salt in there all right let those flavors cook right through we'll have ourselves a beautiful soup and a couple of nice fish to eat be absolutely beautiful flush back when it's ready let's have a look see oh, beautiful you see all it's getting that nice cloudy color the parsley's cooked through, the onions cooked through, the fish is cooked through. So all that flavour is in that juice now. Now we're just going to finish it with a garnish of parsley for that nice colour. And then we're going to get another squeeze of lemon in there. As I said, this is a very good detox, good cleanse, a lot of nutrition really good for you and so quick and easy it really is no effort at all and that tail is just falling away so it's ready to go we'll serve this up and we'll have a look see as you can see absolutely beautiful look at this beautiful dish god i live like a king i tell you and just tailor simple tailor and all you need to eat it really i've got myself some garlic bread rolls and herb there just a spoon for the soup and we'll just pull a bit of a bit of tailor meat off we'll give it that taste you know it's going to be nice and moist because it's in the soup that is so nice just a just a mild flavor lemony really good for you and let's have a taste with it and look at all that soup you get the fish you get a soup you get a dipping roll and it's just one tailor i've got another tailor in there as well but that's another meal there and it's beautiful a couple of minutes preparation just the parsley onion chopped up chuck it in a pot boil it up salt and pepper a bit of garlic simple so so good for you these are the kinds of things we're missing in life the simple things and you really enjoy them all right guys if you ain't fishing you wishing i'll see you on the water catch it oh that's so good wow 